Hey guys, it's Caleb here. Today is uh, muskrat float making day. And then uh, tomorrow, if I can get some more supplies, then I can uh, start making some weasel boxes for uh, this year and for next year. So this is uh, a float I got the idea off of Worldwide Outdoors. He has two videos he posted about a year ago about muskrat floats. And there's tons of different ones, so I saw this one. I thought oh, I'll try to build it. And I'm not a carpenter or even know how to work with wood. No one ever taught me. So this is just kind of how it looks. Looks like crap, I know. But what I have here is these X's. That's where the carrot or apple is going to be. And the trap is going to be set here just like this. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. But, uh, you know, we'll try it out. And uh, I have it wired off here. But what would even be better if you used a quick link attached on here and then attached on to a fence staple. You need a real small one. But it saves a lot because this wire can get a little crappy. You know, because when the muskrat falls in the water, like this, the, it could get a big chance of it tangling up on something and end up getting back on the float. So that's not what you want. And uh, what I'm using here is number one long springs. They work, they work pretty good. I would recommend a Sleepy Creek one and a half long spring because they have twice as much weight and they always drown anything from uh, muskrat, coon, and sometimes even, uh, I mean muskrat and mink, and sometimes even a coon if you're lucky with that. But yeah, I just have some star foam I just found laying around from uh, a TV we got a while ago back. That's just gonna, it's just gonna keep the the float high because this wood's kind of old and might get a little water log and it might sink that's not what you want either but I cut these boards here and then I started making these H floats I was talking to a trapper this morning on uh, Facebook and he's saying what the heck is an H float and this is it here it's uh, two cutted 2 by 4s with uh, some plywood in the middle and here's some more of this plywood here it's about an inch thick and you kind of want it somewhat of that big maybe a little bit thinner just a bit just take a few inches off and then you go and you slap on your two by fours just like this and if you're wondering why the two by fours are painted gray is because this, these floats are going to be going in a public area I don't want no PETA people messing around with my floats you know takes a lot to make floats and boxes and then you get someone come around and steal them or pick them up you know it's just you can get real pissed off at that but um yeah that's how an H float works and uh yeah you just put your traps on there just like that and uh like I said before the wire probably not a good idea uh just use uh, a quick you know like what I said before a small quick link and a fence staple just at the end here would work really well. And maybe if you could stick a nail up through here, maybe a small roofing nail just so it pokes up about maybe an inch. Then you stick a carrot or a parasnip or you know whatever you use for your weasel bait. That works well. And even for notches, I would I would suggest them if you're trapping on a river or a stream that's moving around a lot. And it just kind of keeps the traps kind of a bit stable in there. And then, so the muskrat climbs up on it, it might move it around a bit, you know. And so you can move it around and it's pretty stable. And uh, for weights, I got this idea from 5959 Ryan. So I can't take credit for it. And uh, what he does is he just takes a bit, like he would cut that in half there. I just take a hammer and just go do a quick bang and then they all break real easy and then he just ties it on to the back of the board here like where this nail would be and uh, just kind of weighs it down just a bit so it's not floating around everywhere so that's a good idea there but yeah and then uh, that's my weasel box making tool kit there it's got all the right stuff I need for making weasel boxes it's got the hinges and uh, I guess some gloves. And it's got some drill bits like this for drilling holes in the back of it so the air can kind of move in and then move the smell around the area. And uh, if you guys are looking for two really good videos 
uh, weasel trapping, I mean uh, weasel box making. One of the channels is Bo, big time Bo Fisherman. And he's got uh, one really good one. And then the other one, can't remember, but I'll post it on uh, my channel there if you guys want to take a look of it. And I'll save it on there for you guys. Alright, so that's all what's going on today. Thanks for watching. Happy trapping.